Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you how to set up a Facebook business manager. And so right off the bat, you might be thinking, what the heck's a Facebook business manager and why do I want one? So I wanna start off with a little bit of an intro of that, and then I'll get into showing you guys how to actually set it up how to connect a Facebook business page, and how to set up an ads account. So three things that are really important when you're trying to start off a Facebook business, but starting off with what is the business manager and do you even need it? So, so Facebook business manager is essentially a way for you to, well, manage your different Facebook business ventures. And so what I mean by that is within the business manager, you can have all your different Facebook business pages right there. You can have ad accounts, you can have Facebook pixels connected to ad accounts, so you can track different things, and you can overall just do a lot of different stuff with the Facebook business manager as your own, uh, if you're just operating the business as yourself. But it gets even more powerful when you have other people involved in the business, which as with most businesses, as you scale up, you are going to have other employees, you're gonna have consultants, you're gonna have other outside people working with you that you don't wanna just give them your personal Facebook password. And so really the best way to do this is to have a Facebook business manager and give them access to either your ads account or to a specific page or a group of pages and allow them to do whatever they have to do. If they're an analyst, then you can set that. If they are going to edit it, whatever you're trying to do, you can allocate different um, responsibilities to different people and have them do different stuff. Now you can do this with just a regular Facebook business page, but having multiple pages on here, it really makes a lot of sense. It's easy to set up a Facebook business manager and there are a lot of powers with this. Now, on the flip side, if you are not the one owning the Facebook business page, you may want to have a Facebook business manager so that you can go out, say you're like an ads uh, consultant or something. Then you're going to need Facebook business manager to go in and check out other people's ad accounts uh, and kind of manage everything professionally from one central hub. So. That's essentially why you'd wanna do this. There are more powerful tools on here than you can have on just like a standard, uh, if you just go and promote posts from your page, it definitely is a lot more powerful to do that from here. And you'll see some of that as we go through this tutorial. So with that being said, let's jump into the actual tutorial part of this. So the first thing you wanna do is go to business.facebook.com. You'll get a page that looks something like this. Then you go up to create account and you will have to sign into your own personal Facebook. If you don't have one, create an account right now. Uh, and once you're signed in, then you'll see the blue button right there. So again, click create an account. You're going to name the business account. Uh, so it could be like your store or your agency or whatever your business is really going to show up as. And then you're gonna have your name and your business email right there. So this is fairly straightforward and you can have up to four different Facebook business accounts. So if you already have four, then it won't let you make another one unless you delete the other ones and deleting them takes like 24 to 48 hours. I'll show you that later on in the video. Now the next step is to input your business details. So your address and your phone number uh, and overall, is this going to be uh, at the bottom, the two options there, is this going to be for yourself to you know, manage your own pages or is, are you kind of a consultant that's gonna work with other businesses and their pages? So we're just gonna type in some information right here uh, and then click Submit. And then it'll say that your business was created. You'll just have to go and confirm the business uh, email right there. And then we start to get into some actual tools here. Now, just right off the bat, you see a lot of blue buttons, a lot of stuff that it, it wants you to do. Uh, and it's all very straightforward to do. So first of all, adding security on the top. I think that's really important. So uh, Facebook, sometimes gets hacked, sometimes not, you know, it's not all people are good. So you wanna make sure that you add security, have some two-factor authentication in there to make sure that you're protected in case anybody tries to sign in with your account. Because again, it's kind of only set up with your own personal Facebook account, right? So then on the bottom, you see three different options there. You have add page, you have add ad account, and then you have add people, which goes back to what I was saying before when you can really manage multiple pages with this. You can manage multiple ad accounts if you're trying to run ads for yourself or for different businesses or for different campaigns. You can do all of that right here. And then on the right, you can add different people, which is also very powerful if you have employees or if you're working with other people, uh, you can go down. So let's start off by adding a page. And so adding a page, you can either create a new page as you see on the right, you can add somebody else's if you are like a consultant right there or on the left, so over there, you can add a page of your own, which is really easy to do. All you do is type in the name of the page and it kind of searches through all the pages that are either relevant or whatever Facebook decides to show you. Then you click connect the page. So it's really straightforward to do that as long as you are the owner of that. So if we try not being an owner, so if I go back 
and I want to add a different one. So if we want to add like uh, MOB lawns, that's like a health and wellness. Yeah, I don't know, that doesn't seem right. But if we add that, I'm not the owner of that page. So it says right there, I'm not the admin, so I cannot add that unless you have special access. So keep that in mind. That's definitely an important part when you're trying to do this. Now, an ad account, same kind of three options there. You can have someone else's ad account if you're an analyst or you're working for them. You can create your own ad account, a new one, or you can connect one that you already have. Now, inviting people, so employees, admin access, uh, you can go through this, and this one is relatively straightforward. You can see they kind of give you a little description of what each person is able to do uh, and overall what their responsibilities are and do you want them to do that or not. So you can select a little, you know, tick them either way, whatever you want here, then type in the email address of whoever you want. It's going to be the email address that's connected to their Facebook account is probably what you want to do right there. And so that's basically how you're going to get started here. Now, if we go up to business settings on the top right, business settings gives you many more options. And this is where you really start to see uh, the absolute power. Like, it's a really powerful program here with Facebook business. So uh, Facebook business settings, there you have, you can have accounts. And so I already added that page. And again, you can add another page right here pretty easily. Um, and so you click that option, you have three little ways you can add that. Then we have ad accounts. Um, we've got apps and Instagram accounts. Instagram, you'll see that this one already is connected, even though I didn't type that in because it's linked to that Facebook page. So in a previous video, I opened up a Facebook page. Uh, I started one and I connected an Instagram to it. So that's why those two are linked. Um, and so it should just automatically bring that in. If you want to have another Instagram connected to your Facebook business manager, but maybe it's not connected to a Facebook page or whatever, then you can definitely do that just from right there by signing in to Instagram. Now, as you go down, you have many other things. You have uh, brand safety right there for domains and blocked links uh, or block lists, sorry. Then you have uh, registrations and just a lot of other stuff there. A little bit more advanced. I'm not going to cover that in this video, um, but overall, this is, the, the, this is where you can see a lot of settings. I recommend going through this and kind of exploring a little bit, reading the little descriptions they have so you get a little bit more familiar with the settings for Facebook Business Manager. Now, most of what you're gonna be doing, for me at least, uh, is up in the top two right there, so pages and ad accounts. So if we want to have an ad account, so all you have to do, this is also very easy, just click add an ad account, choose the name of your ad account, choose your time zone, choose your, choose your currency, uh, and then your payment method you will have to set up once you have the ad account set up. So you see right here, I'm just gonna do it for my business right now, creating my own ad account, um, which is important to correctly choose which one you're doing right there. So then once it's set up, you can choose what permissions you want to have. So you can manage campaigns, you can view performance. Uh, so you can really, again, if you have more people, you can say maybe some people are not going to be managing the campaigns because you don't want them to spend your dollars. And maybe other people are going to be able to do that. Maybe some people can only look and just see the data and actually analyze that. So a little bit more power there, again, if you have more people working for you. Now, once we have that, you can set up your payment information here because obviously ads are not free. So you're going to have to have a way, usually just a credit card is what I do. Um, so you can set up a credit card and you can pay for your ads like that. Now I do recommend, actually, I'll make another video in the future about how to make Facebook ads. I always recommend having a spending limit um, just so you don't accidentally just wake up one morning and realize that you spent way too much on ads overnight. And especially if they weren't properly tailored, maybe they're not right, you know, so you could lose a lot of money that way. You want to make sure you don't do that. Now down here, security center, I recommend that you do add some other people, some other employees, maybe another admin, just in case anything goes wrong with your account. So if anything happens where your account gets hacked or you forget your password or you get kicked off for some reason, maybe you changed your phone number and forgot to update the two-factor on here. I don't know. It could be any reason. I always like to protect my account by having other people on it. So have, you know, either a business partner or just have somebody else that you can have, you know, their account just in case you ever needed to sign in. So set up two factor then, like I talked about in the beginning, usually just text alerts, I think is really the main one you're doing, but you can have like a security key is another way to do this. So you can buy like the Google one or something. Um, and so basically then once we have all that set up, if you go to business.facebook.com again, you'll see all of your different businesses here. Now this time I have three different businesses right now. I had two before, I have three now because I just made that one. And you can have up to four, like I said before. And if you're trying to make a new one, you already have four, you're going to have to delete one of them. I don't really see a need to have too many Facebook business manager accounts though, um, because you can do a lot within one. That's kind of the whole purpose of it. So once you get in here, you can add more accounts and you'll see the ad account that I made and the page that I made 
uh, are both down there listed right there. And you'll have, if you have like 10 pages, they're all going to be listed right there and you can really control a lot of that. So the next thing to do is to add a, a logo uh, and a cover photo right there if you want. So if you're not working with a lot of other people, it's really not that important to do this. Um, but for me personally, I usually just add it in anyway. So I have a logo at the very least so I, I know which Facebook business I'm working on just at a quick glance, you'll see the logo up in the corner there. So if you go into the ad account overview, they'll show you how much you spent. You can see graphs, you can see how many impressions you got for how much you spent and you get a lot of data just from like a really quick snapshot right here. As you go over to activity there, you can see what other employees did within your company. You can see the admin, the employee, and you know they show you a lot of stuff about that. So just more data there, obviously because this is a brand new account, there is nothing to really look at there, but you'll see as you start doing a lot more with this and spending more money and making more money, a lot more will show up here. So on the top then you have this menu that pops down and you have four different really categories there. So you have create and manage, you have measure and report, you have assets and you have settings. Most of what I do is in the create section right there uh, when you're trying to work on your pages and stuff like that. Um, so that's where you can go back to ads manager, business manager, um, and a lot of that stuff. Now measure and report is interesting to see like analytics, for example. Again, I'm not gonna go into that with this video, mainly because we don't have anything to look at yet. Okay, so getting back to the home page right there, you'll see that all you have to do is click on any page or any ad account you want. It'll go right into it. And from here, you'll notice that it looks a lot like the, the Facebook page editor that we had on just regular uh, personal Facebook profile. So having it in here is again more powerful and you don't lose any of those abilities before. So you never have to go into your personal account and make edits from there. Everything you do is really as your business. So it's a totally separate entity and it should work really well. So guys, that's basically everything I wanted to show you about Facebook Business Manager. Now, it is a really powerful tool and there's a lot to learn there. So I can make some more videos in the future and show you guys how to set up ads, maybe show you a little bit more about diving into the data with something that is not just a brand new account, something that has some more money spent there. Um, but for now, I think that this is a good way to get you started to you know, have your first Facebook Business Manager, connect your Facebook page, maybe your Facebook pages if you have multiple, and start getting a way to set up an ads account to spend money and promote stuff on your pages uh, in a more logical and organized way that can be more effective and can uh, enable you to be more successful. So guys, that's what I have to say about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or any other suggestions for other people that are starting a Facebook business manager account. As always guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.